With the overpopulation of animals in Kern County, one local woman is making sure feral cats don't go unnoticed. I'm Shant Taimani, your Bakersfield neighborhood reporter. She's working with numerous organizations to make sure feral cats are safe. Jessica McConnell, a volunteer with Critters Without Litter, sets up her traps in the morning and at night. She said it started with a dead kitten, and as she started exploring the neighborhood, she and her kids came across more animals in need. You can't just walk up and grab a cat and say, hey, I'm going to help you and take you to go get spayed or neutered so you don't keep having babies all over the street. Now she sets up and makes her traps using money out of her pocket. McConnell tells me that one of the many challenges is people not understanding what traps are. Well, if you see a trap in your neighborhood and you're wondering what it is, it is probably one of us out in the community trying to get some cats in to get fixed so the population stops growing. Vicki Thrasher, executive director of Critters Without Litters, says the overpopulation of feral cats is a problem throughout Kern County and that trapping can ease that issue if done properly. These cats that are out in the community that are ownerless, um, if, if, we don't, if we don't get those cats fixed, if we don't trap them up, get them in here and get them fixed, they're just going to make more cats. The dumping of animals has caused concerns for organizations like Critters Without Litters and places like PetSmart when it comes to lack of resources available to find a home for strays. Jessica says she helps those in the community like Connie, who has seen an influx of cats in her neighborhood and doesn't know what to do. Due to overcrowded shelters, she says trapping animals is a temporary solution since organizations and community members aren't seeing the funds needed to help. Without trapping, we wouldn't be able to catch as many cats to get them spayed or neutered. It's very hard to do with your bare hands. McConnell hopes that her story can make a difference within the community. And if you want more information about spay and neutering clinics, you could go to our website, turnto23.com. I'm Shantae Mani, your Bakersfield neighborhood reporter.